Mai Kako. My name is Samantha Sun. I'm with the Department of Parks and Recreation as their Culture and Arts Specialist. Today we'll be making a paper lei um, in the tea leaf style. I have, normally we'd call this Healy and um, I'll also teach you how to make the roses. Um, so we would try to use things that you have in and around your house. So I use eight and a half by 11 paper, mostly because most of us have at least some, if not magazine paper works, origami paper works. You just wanna kinda keep it long. Um, if you use eight and a half by 11 paper, I have seven one inch strips and then two three quarter inch strips. So the one inch wide ones will be used for the actual making of the lay and the three quarter inch ones will be used for making the roses. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and show you how to start off a rose. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to take your three quarter inch strip of paper and you're going to bend it at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna to wanna to leave about maybe an inch and a half, two inch tail, just so that you have something to hang on to when you put it in your lay. Then you're gonna bend it away or bend it backwards and then start rolling the bottom and where they're still fold you're going to want to bend it backwards again and just keep rolling again you want to keep folding and turning and they're all going to look different they're not going to all look pretty but they're going to look great anyway so you're going to go ahead and keep fold and then turn and before you get to the end of the edge, fold and then turn. And so this one's a little short. So again, you're just going to keep going around all the way until you get kind of close to the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bend it backwards so that it meets up with the other tail. And you're just going to kind of twist it and it'll stay together because it's paper. That's the beauty of using paper for this okay you can set that aside um, for the next part to start off your lay all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that one inch wide strip and you're gonna start twisting oh see I ripped it already but it's okay it's fine you can just keep twisting the paper until it kind of makes like a little paper rope going on here okay so you notice I'm kind of twisting the two ends away from each other for now but then when I get to, when it's kind of good and tight and feels like it's going to spring back on itself, you're going to fold it in half and twist it back on itself. Okay, I know that sounds kind of complicated, but when you do it, you'll see what I mean. You'll feel, feel the tension. Okay, so once you kind of get it here, clipboard or if you can clip it to your pads, some people use their toe to between, this part between their toes, whatever works best for you. But for me, I'm going to use the clipboard. And then I'm going to keep twisting. So both of my tails will be going in the same direction now. And then I'm going to twist the opposite way. So my, if I'm turning to my right, each individual tail, then I'm going to spiral the other two to the left. I know it sounds funky, but again, when you try it, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so then now I have like just a little stumpy end, so I'm going to add in a new piece. I'm going to go ahead and grab another one inch strip and I'm going to put it behind the, the old one so that it's like this. And then I'm going to start twisting the new strip around the old strip. Okay, again in the to my right, or in this case, it would be clockwise. Then I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing, just roll it around and I'm going to turn it so that it's locked into place. So this, because this one is short as well, I'm going to take another one, put it behind the other strip and then wrap the new strip around the old one and just keep twisting. This is why you got to clip the, the end down, otherwise it's a lot harder. And then again, same thing, you're going to twist it clockwise. And then you're going to take the two and twist counterclockwise like that. Okay. So now we're in a good place and you can kind of just keep going. Twist and roll over. 
So now I want to add my flour in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind as well. And just like how I added the new one, I'm going to take the old one, or not the old one, the working strand, and we'll roll the end of the rows into it. And I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. Again, roll this clockwise and keep and then keep just keep going until you have your lay. Once you get to the end, I'm not gonna do a full one, then you're gonna go ahead and take the end and there's kind of a loop back here in the beginning. You're gonna go ahead and pop him in there. And tie a knot. And then I've got my little tiny baby lay. You can always trim the ends neatly at a diagonal so you can make them like, you know, a little bit more fancy. And these are definitely too long, so we can cut these too. And there you go, tiny baby lay. All right. I also use ribbon. This is 5 eighths inch wide ribbon. So the wider the better because you kind of get a, a thick, a bigger, more substantial flower. Um, and again, same technique just with ribbon. So you can use a variety of materials and you, if you are going to use tea leaves, you can do the exact same thing. You're just going to go ahead and take those nice soft leafy parts off of the middle rib of the tea leaf and Go ahead and microwave for them for a few seconds, freeze them overnight or iron them and you can go ahead and they'll be soft and pliable enough to do the same technique as we did with our paper. And that's it for today. Mahalo for watching.